Shit, homie, you gonna drop all that bread on that gear, you might as well get a haircut, too. Fucking crazy-haired microphone, motherfucker. I got a microphone I can shove right in your prison pocket. Nigga, you walk like you keister and shit anyway. You know, when I went away, you punks was little homies, and I was a big homie. Now I'm out, and you little homies is big homies. But you still gotta respect. Man, what the fuck this nigga talking about? We all big homies, but he bigger, right? Exactly. As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more likely. All right, homie, get your shotgun with the flashlight modification. Hey, you got cash? Oh, you flat, homie? I would think you was fiending, but ain't no fiends that fat. Take this cheese, you old broke-ass bitch. <clears throat> now, just let me reinstate, man, that the purchases made by this man ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fella nature. That's right. Yeah. Now, let's go bust on some niggas. Man, we got some Check recycling to do. Shit. Come on, man. Send her off friends in La Puerta. You got some cans or some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my aunt, nigga. After his bid, this is it probably cool. need tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG? <laughs> CGF has changed, man. No wonder the hood is so lame right now. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing, you know? Just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so put it on me. It's... What y'all? Nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. All right, homie, we meeting in here. Man, how'd you find this place? The homie set it up. It's the kind of spot where we ain't gonna be disturbed. That's what the fuck worries me. I'm more of a hide in the plain sight type of nigga.
Shit! What move? Shit, we gotta go before this shit spread! Man, what the fuck you on? Fuck you! Man, back up! You handle that fool? Yeah, and I handle him again! Many times in the tank, shit! A couple of them fuckers holding out, blast they ass! Your homie's dead! Here again? Man, I ain't going down for you! Did you think to work out an action while you set up this meet? There's always a way out, motherfucker. We gon' find it. The roller's here. I ain't doing another bid, homies. You go first. Stay after me. Keep down, fool. I'ma follow you for a minute. Hey, here's the X. Do the fire exit. Come on. Hey, one time. RC and I gonna cause us some trouble. Clap him, homie. We've got a 415 at Rogers Salvation and Scrap. Three black male adults sighted exiting the building. Air unit at the scene. Requesting backup. The necessary. Yeah, thank you for that, dawg. This all on you, LD, lanky dumbass. Me? Hey, I ain't know the fools was gonna roll on us. If you started something with the ballers, shit, I don't care if you CGF for life, man. for life, cause all that means is we giving you money for nothing. We got our own shit now, homie. Farm gangsters. 
Oh, no, nah, no, nah, he don't mean that, low. F just talking outside his neck. I'm gonna reach cross lines, all right? Conversate with the purple homies. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Smart shit. But if I gotta hang you assholes out for this, the gang comes first. Oh, it ain't gonna come to that, homie. You all diplomatic and shit. Yeah, he a real fucking diplomat, ain't he? This that peace talking motherfucker we should have seen to the middle. Fuck. No wonder I wanna get out of here. No one's stopping you, little homie. Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounding more and more like a snee-eye yitch every day. Hell no, nah, yeah. nigga. I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook-ass nigga, I told nigga, you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark-ass bitch. Fucking buster. <sighs> your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do... A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Okay, Dad. I got just a thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. Property with payment pending? If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, 
I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the more... Look out! You lunatic! You're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I... Shit! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick, or a Jew boy, or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of co- Fuck! From a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, girlfriend! Hey, you! Two oh, bikes. I'm take your pick. Sun, I'll take this one. Botox. What could possibly go wrong? If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. It's like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Shit. Dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Plus, we're 
take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, Ain't Daddy. cool, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man. Come. I like this. What's your problem? You're such a jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. I'm supposed to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into the outlet! If you say so, Trace. Them down here. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Just go, okay? Go. My dad's the one you want to kill. He's on the front of this thing. You're Back a danger up, to you yourself prick. and others. It's amazing what modern medicine can do. Run, okay? My dad's gone crazy! Stop chasing us and help Blake! Turn around or he'll cap you too! Can't you see he's a psycho? Go away! Sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life.
Oh, I'm sorry. Looking sexy, honey. I go up to Pacific Bluffs last week to catch some waves. Yeah, I need a cab as soon as you traffic. can. I'm really sorry. I don't have any free cars right now. You're shitting me. I'm like totally ready to move somewhere more chill. Yeah, so later, dude. Hey, babe. So for this weekend, how about we take a drive down to Western Power? Can I get a cab? I'm sending one out right now. Appreciate it. Are you serious? Excuse me. Where you headed, homie? I think I got a model Rockford Hills. That's the ride, my man.
All right, Lester. I got us the tag team rifles. All right. Then this score is ready to go. Come inside and meet the crew. All right. I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals. We all know the score. We're going to execute the plan. We're going to move quick, and we're going to keep cool. Anybody gets pinched. This meeting never took place. We don't know each other. Is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're going to hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him. Fifteen seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. The customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy... Waiting on you, kid. Paige, you're in the truck with the bikes. Everyone else with me. Oh! Gus, Eddie, I need you in the back of the van. Franklin's driving. I'm in the passenger seat. Listen up. The four of us in this van, we're about to become accomplices in a major crime. I gotta be able to trust you with my life, my liberty, my reputation. Same goes the other way. A crew will only work, only work, when there's trust. So, in the interest of fostering that type of relationship in the short time we've got, let me introduce myself. I'm Michael. I've done this type of thing before, more than a few times, and I've made good money doing it. Enough to spend a long time not doing it. I hope it goes without saying, I know a lot of you. Anyone yaps about me or any of you, you'll be dealt with. Got it? Good. Now, Frank, over to you. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Franklin, dawg. And, um, I'm new to these kind of planned out detail robberies. I've done my sheer small jobs, you know, liquor stores, warehouses, boosting cars. And then I met this dude right here, Michael, man. And he turned me on to this thing. So, who's next? I'm Gustavo Gasmota. From East Los, know what I'm saying? It's been bang for the bagos, but hey, don't tell him I told you that. I might need them homies if I go away. I guess I found out pretty young I could pull a trigger. But it was a couple of years before I started doing it for bread, know what I'm saying? Instead of that repping with you from bullshit. And here we are. Uh... Let's move. Let's do this! Come on! I'll clean up these displays. I've been able to get you around a minute and a half before the alarm will reset itself. 90 seconds? All right, that's why we pay you what we do. Hey, we got more than enough time to clean these people out. Let's do it. 120 remaining. You don't want drama. Clean them out. Hey, I'm watching you. Keep moving. Let's do this. A minute left. Nice work, man. There's a reason you're paid what you're paid. Don't tell my wife I got all these jewels. 
things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go, go, go! Reported jewel store robbery at Bengala Coat in Rockford Hills. Three suspects leaving on their bikes. Heading east back to the Keep moving! I got this covered. We'll stop at the end of the river, and we'll get the bikes into the truck. F, come on, get in. Lester's around the corner at the lockup. Thank you. 
Man, I thought I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Ah, oh, man. All right. Yeah. We did it. You know what I'm saying? Ho oh, ho. One step closer to retirement. All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Hmm. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. You got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up. Stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change. I promise. You won't even recognize me. I'll get the shot. Go, go! Get us right up alongside that limo! Give me something! Anything! Oh, stop pretending to cry! You know you want it, Cowan! Oh, you're human. You bitch! I don't believe it! She's slamming a speedball in there, man! This is journalistic gold! You don't look a day over 45! <laughs> You're an angel! An angel! Man, they don't call her the silicone slattern for nothing! She looks like a bloodhound in a wind tunnel! God, I love her! Oh, man, no wonder this whole town's in therapy. Not that close! Well, 
done on the rehab. Not! I love her! I hate her. We done yet? No, she still looks too good. I want the prisoner of war shot. That's where the big zeros are. Fuck you, Beverly. This one's mine. Oh, no, no. It's that bottom feeder, Madison. Shit, he's getting the money shots. Where's your dignity, man? Forget Miranda. We can't let him steal my exclusive. Get alongside him. I'll knock the weasel off. Stay on that bastard! Hey, how can I bitch slap him from here? Are you up? Jesus! You didn't have to kill the guy! Oh, and this is coming from a fool to just try to knock him off a moving motorcycle? Well, it's done now. A terrible accident, but life must go on. And I'm already late for my next stakeout. Let's go. Get the hell out of here. There's a small parking lot by the Cafe Redemption Courtyard in Morningwood. All right, homie, it's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. Got off lucky, homie. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. Cowboys forced our hand. We gotta find the rest of the lost. Wait. This ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh... My cousin's there, but I don't... Find him, Wade! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. The bikers are meant to be over by the farm on the right. Deranged, paranoid freaks! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley Johnny's looking for? Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just ten minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you... If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. The band's gotta pass, but the guys on bikes can go. Whoa! Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You need to beat out back here, or traps or something. I only keep things in the back. I don't mind losing. Oh.
Sharp left! Slow it down! Uh, I can't see us taking out all the bikers this go, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip, and some over, you know, by that... Not today. Their time will soon be upon them. Going to work. Step right up! Step right up! 
wiping out my whole customer base. Pull the throttle, you pussy! Come on! Where are you going? It was just getting exciting! Get you to anything? Soda? Snacks? No! Get in the fucking truck! <sighs> Wade? What are you still doing here? You said. I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, alright? You looking for motivation? Oh, yeah, pick me up some sticky bombs. Ortega lives near here, let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas? Man! The Aztecas? It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky? Not one of those lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the end. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth, it's about guns, too. There he is. Let's wake him up. What? With the truck? No, come on! Ortega runs the whole county! Motherfucker! Don't anymore! Come on, come on, come on! Oh! Ah! We was always cool! You get the picture! I think he gets the message! Let's go. Let's get out of here, man. Quick. Idiots! This is an unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clear. Not. No way! You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am! I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in ten years' time saying, All is well! Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Townley, yes it is! Well, you told me about him. Your old running buddy. Your old running buddy. And who was the other one? Brad was the other one. He's locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? If I knew what happened, I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, some may say obsession, with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. I was trying to console you. I don't need consolation. I need answers from that fat chump. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! You know I don't-
There you are, handsome. No. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage. This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity leather, chapped-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped-wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos, you could be. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP into... That's the rifle I need. She'll do nicely. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. It'll be quiet as a mouse. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus's gun and he ain't got three brain cells. Ron! Ron, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm waiting at the water tower, boss! I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Up here! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. R really?
Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt of your mind up, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Can you see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? I saw a guy by the tower. I shot him. Now keep moving. Come on! Keep it moving! Shot the light so you can calm down. Good. Well, uh, don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out, okay? Again, there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. There's a second guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man. I'm a fixing it. Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And, whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! I think someone's coming! Shit! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Oh, no.
Watch out for the bikers! They're all over you! I told my contact to meet us just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your way, Trevor! I am aware of this! Well, you gotta get him off! Do a roll or something! Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger. I'll do my best to oblige you. He ain't letting go, is he? That guy is clinging on. Oh, there he goes. Fine, I feel safe. You set up a buyer for these guns already? I thought we was just hitting back at him for the thing with the statue. If you'd read our latest shareholder report, Ron, you'd know TP Enterprises has been exploring a takeover of some lost MC business. That kind of requires someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny K and the figurine? Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips Enterprises is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we hope we improve revenue streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit all that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniff engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows, we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it. There's a fire in the water. I'm guessing it's them. That's him. Let's do it. Ford's and Kudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. We're gonna make some coin from that hardware, boss. TP Enterprises are raising guidance, and the Lost MC are posting unexpectedly soft projections for the coming quarter. They're getting everything that's coming to them. A vast criminal conspiracy like the Lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. Few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean, back in Alderney. Man was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley. Man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool. And you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce, and my settlement costs... Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay?
Trip. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's won. Ban him. I have a video. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. This is us. You can't get here quick enough! The Aztecas are coming! They think you took out Ortega! They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too! You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Shit, Trevor! We ain't got long! Whoa, 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 whoa. manners, Shaq! Ortega has always been cool enough for... This is a place of business!
They know their feet. Let's push them off. Through the Aztecas. Go back to the lab and give me a damage report. I gotta let our potential business partners out of the ice chest. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I think we have seen quite enough. Guys, don't. Oh, uh, swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Smells like coyote guts. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quiet <laughs> in. Ah! Uh, this music's all fucking wrong. That's what I'm looking for. Phillips! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor! It's business! It's biz- Ernie Earl! Start writing! How much of a family mess business you got when I'm done? Mm. All of you are going to die! Brothers, you got you inbred freaks.
I'm coming for you. Tears here to kill you.
last night. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. The windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh! Liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe! Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, hey, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Aim low, so if you do miss, at least you'll not spook the driver. Jesus! You gotta be 10% smarter than the equipment you're running, my granddaddy always said. When in doubt, take him out. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. Nice. Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. I'm pro-gun control. A steady hand on the trigger. What? Looks like maybe you could use some more practice. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Dumbass. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything?
Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I've seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of them. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. All right, I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. Sing to me now, song dog, and another. <laughs> Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. <laughs> that should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. <laughs> Hellfire! You're as graceful as a pig on ice. You're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why?
try to be a good neighbor, and this is what I get! Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor! I've been trying! Come on over here, alright? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying! I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley! There's two... Michael Townley living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's the stop? What's the stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... Uh, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects.
take a ride. See what kind of shape. You don't look right, friend. Make them pay, brother. Do it for the brothers! You'll fucking die Find here! Come on!
The house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my bow in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I didn't mean anything, but. I didn't mean anything, but. Me? Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away! Are we nearly there yet? Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tr uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy thing? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Hey! Aw. Woo-hoo! Again! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! That's it! That giant sprawl, Los Santos. Oh! Kick again! Kick again! So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Hmm? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for now. Cousin Floyd don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story? Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a, had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right, but he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. He sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock... I thought we were going to my country. Christ! Ah! And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat... Silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he was a boy. 
Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. Then he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. Oh. Uh, hi. Oh. We're near Floyd's house. I'm seeing it on the I find maps. I'll give you direction. It's a left up here. This is the place, I think it is, at least. Cousin Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude! Piece of shit! Well, hello there. Looking good. I love making people totes amaze.
was fun. See you around. You should try it on. We don't have a return policy. Make sure you come back. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Uh, 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 uh. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Brock, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag. Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there with... I didn't ask for a blow-by-blow blow of how you lost your last ounce of... Crap! I'm making a personal injury claim. Last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pale, okay? It's too late for kale. And it's magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or cock therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh. Don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you 
fat slob. You two relaxed, and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Bang, bang, do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, hmm, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Come on, come on, come on. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. It's Orion sucks. Fuck off. <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. You ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw this. Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a. Uh, dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. We've got a little show to do here. Okay. Three. Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Ah! Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a twenty in this. Can I fucking do something about this? <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, no, 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 hey, no. I, I got security! No. Security! No. What'd you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come, Come on, there! No. Come on! Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy, go home! Hey, you little prick! Right now, Tracy! Come back here! There! We take the truck! I'm just gonna mind my own... like that. Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking last one. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. We gotta go to the left. Look at him. He's on the train track. Chill the fuck out. We can have a little fun with him. Well, let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? 
He took a left! I knew this city would be full of douchebags! Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so...
is that? You just don't mess with your betters. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken... Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Give it up! That don't look right. We're on lockdown. Is this the way out? Trust me, I'm not interested in 
ending! You, sir! Backup for a possible national security threat at Strawberry Corner's office. Suspect is a white male adult. IAA has authorized the use of lethal force. Come in, dispatch. Suspect is in a car. Roger that. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick. El Burro Heights. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax! They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck? You don't see, driving! What's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. 
Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You'll get over it. You'll see. Never! Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Tell me, Davey, you expense this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this... Hey, sorry. I need you to come to a lot off El Rand. All right, that's... Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, I... We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at Suicide Pack. The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down. Talking about, I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. 
<laughs> Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him! Close this problem right now! Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me this safe! 36 flow. I got you. Hey, it's high value. President. Come on, man! Wait! Hey, come on out! Slow down! We got a window, T! Pull us out! This is unacceptable! Nah! Help! BK, I want to be that T, we need to be clear of this building! Hey! Dooley! I'm not leaving here until you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! I knew you were a liability, you fucking turd! <laughs> Don't get angry, Michael! Do something! That's it. Get us out of here. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin. Shit. You are free to the U.S. Constitution. Lead the force will be utilized.
In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Just exhale, Michael. If we put him on a six-month kale-only ah. diet, he might just get healthy. Or die. Ugh. Please don't waste Fabian's time. Lose yourself. You are just one mung bean in the great stool of the Ishta Devata. In and out with the breast, Mikhail. Air through the nose, and out the mouth. Breathe out, please. Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self-centeredness drift away. Now, in through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. Out through the mouth. Who would have thought it possible? This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. You feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Breathe, Mikkel. Let it go. There. There it is. Now, you breathe. Out through the mouth. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? You can breathe, can't you? Very good. Now let it go. There. Let it go! This silly man forgets to breathe. Let it out, baby. Keep this up and we might actually have a shared interest. I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children. Do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm -mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. <sighs> Mike. Put the lunar to the face. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out. You're turning red. Look at the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Just exhale, Michael. Can you wash that mat later? It's gonna smell all bloody and smoky and Michael-y. Take in the air. 
and release it. Exhale. Hold the anus. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out with the breath. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Let it go. No vanity. Come on. Breathe, please, Michael. Out through those wrinkled lips. Good. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out. Lengthen. Strengthen. <laughs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. Jimmy! You still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. It's nice TV. I'm talking in your Did I pay for that? Oh. Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? Bullshit. Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. your friend burger shot yeah nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints me and the guys we just... oh man we go down to the diner after class every day and i get milkshakes fries Ew, please you know you're really creeping me out i'm trying to relate to you no you're trying to take me on you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip you're such a cliche Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I... Watch it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you! Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You really have to meet my friend? There he is, the friendly na- <coughs> Yo, oh, bro, man. What's man? up? What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> all righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square? Hey! Who's the square now? I'm starting to feel weird. You're fine. No. Yeah, this is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. It's not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Would you quit being such a drama queen and get us to the house? No! I'll stop it! Oh, who was in there? It's harmless. Fets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. Protecting you from yourself. 
Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. Huh? All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy!
DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor son bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. <laughs>